welcome back to David's Closet. On this channel, we like to talk about handbags, accessories, SLGs, all from the male point of view and on a budget. So if that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel, comment on the videos you like, let me know what kind of videos you want to see, all of the fun things. Today's video is a collaboration between myself, Ed Braun, Winnie BLV, and Autumn Beckman. I'm super excited about this video. Um, it's been in the works for a while. Originally, Ed and I kind of started talking about it, and then we started um, involving Winnie and Autumn. Um, Gene of Touch Gene was going to join us, but he didn't have the time to get the, um, the tag completed before we had to have the videos up. So we're going to have to do something extra special with him very, very soon. Um, as you guys know, he was my first collaboration on YouTube ever, so uh, definitely got to pull him in here uh, again very soon. But very excited about today's video. Before we get into anything, though, I am going to show you the bag of the week. And the bag of the week is my Gucci Ophidia tote. And I posted a picture in one of my Facebook groups for handbags. Um, I'm actually using a Walmart wallet. I'm not going to open it because everything's there. But this is a Walmart wallet with Gucci. You can mix brands. It's perfectly fine, guys. It's a great wallet. I'm sure it won't last very long, but it works for what I need. And then, I don't know if I've showed you guys this together yet, but I bought this a while ago on clearance at the Coach Outlet, because um, I thought the colors just kind of went well. It has a little bit of red, some blue in it. So I thought that was nice. So that is the bag of the week. Though, uh, I changed into this last night, and I think I'm gonna change into the bag that you're gonna see here in a few minutes, right after this video. So about the tag. So the tag originally was, something along the lines of go thrift a bag the original budget when Ed and I had started kind of talking about it was $25 we didn't want to spend a ton of money as we started adding Autumn and Winnie um, we learned that finding a bag that's decent enough to do this tag is impossible and I realize I haven't told you guys the tag yet oh my god well you've read it but um, so the tag is thrifted so um, buy a thrifted bag and you guys are going to get to vote on who has, or who, who bought the best bag or got the best deal, uh, has the coolest bag, just as all. Who do you, who do you think won? You know, who do you think got hit the jackpot? Um, but buying bags like this is very difficult in my area and in Autumn's area specifically, she said it was quite difficult. Um, so we kind of expanded and we just changed it to pre-loved bags, consignment bags, uh, and we upped the price point to $40. Um, and that doesn't include materials for cleaning, um, if you wanted to do any alterations to the bag, etc. Because you, as you guys know, sometimes these bags from thrift stores or consigners um, can be dirty. They may have flaws. So um, we kind of left that open, you know, if you wanted to mod the bag or if the bag needed restoration. Those costs for the materials that you already have, we're not counting. Um, I know Autumn had to buy um, new leather cleaner and stuff because of her move, she wasn't able to take those with her from Texas to Oregon. Um, but we're not counting that because those are things that she was gonna purchase anyway. Like any good handbag owner, you always have those things on hand. So $40, find a pre-loved bag, either restore it, clean it up, whatever, and then you guys vote and tell us who won, who got the best bag. Now, we haven't quite confirmed who's going to have the poll. Um, I think I may have it on my channel. If that's wrong, I will put it down here below on whose channel to go to for the community post for the voting. Um, this also video is going up on the 28th. Um, I think that's a Thursday, so I will not have a Saturday video this week. Uh, this week's video is special and will be posted today. So I thought about this tag originally with Ed because I think it's important to show our viewers and our subscribers that not everything has to be super high in luxury. Not everything has to be brand new. And I know that's something on my channel that I talk about a lot. 99% of my bags <laughs> came from Fashion File um, and those are pre-loved luxury goods. However, not everything has to be pre-loved ultra luxury like Louis Vuitton, Prada, you know, my Gouillard was new, but Givenchy things like that. So I definitely want that to come across. And I just think this is a fun way to show you that you can have super fun, 
affordable, beautiful fashion bags, accessories without breaking the bank. My search began at local thrift stores where I live. And before I have, I've seen bags there before. I actually have a couple, uh, I don't think you've seen any of them that I have purchased. Um, most of them are just no name cute bags. And I do have one uh, Balenciaga that I got at a thrift store. Um, as far as my research, it is a Balenciaga. Um, I'm looking over at my bags, but that's about it. I've gotten a few pouches, you know, wallets, things like that from thrift stores. So I thought this would be no problem. No, I hunted thrift stores for hours and hours and hours trying to find a bag and I could not find one. So then I was talking to Ed um, and he, you know, was like, why don't you check out eBay or something? And, you know, that's when we were kind of in the process of kind of expanding the term thrift store because buying a bag off eBay, it's the same thing. It's pre-loved, it's used, it's much cheaper than new usually, all of those things. Um, and we still had the same $40 budget at the time. So I started looking at eBay and then I went to shopgoodwill.com. I know Caleb Snell, I'll tag him below. He um, has shopped on Shop Goodwill, I believe before. And my mom has, my mother-in-law I think has. So I looked there and I found a few bags that I could buy. Um, you know, the auctions were close to ending. The price point was fine. The problem was the shipping. Average shipping was $13 to $18. So, you know, I'd get a bag for $35 and then I'd have to spend 15 bucks shipping it to me. So um, I wasn't a big fan of that because A, that would put me over the $40 budget and B, that's just a lot of money for shipping. So I did find one at one of my local thrift stores. I didn't love it. It was a little bit overpriced in my opinion for the bag, the condition, the quality, and I'm pretty sure it was an outlet bag, um, but they were asking, I think, 30 $34.99 or something. Um, so I thought if I can't find anything, I'll go to that savers location and I will just buy that bag and call it a day. Then it dawned on me, I sell on Poshmark. Poshmark is no different than eBay because I also have had some eBay bags, again, shipping, or I just couldn't find what I wanted for the price that I wanted. And I decided, well, I'm just gonna go look on Poshmark. And I'm glad I did because I found a bag that actually I have wanted for a while. I think it's very cute. I don't know if I want it forever in my collection, but I definitely wanted to get my hands on one at some point. And it's part of the Hampton collection. And I will throw up a picture of the bag someday that I need to get my hands on. And it's, uh, this will show my age, but it's from Gossip Girl, season one, episode one. SVW carries a Coach Hampton crossbody bag. And I need this bag because it's perfect. And I also love that, I, show like Gossip Girl that had such high fashion showcased a coach bag. I just think that's so cool. I love that. And this bag came from the same Hamptons collection. And the one I got was actually a vintage bag from probably the same era as the bag from Gossip Girl. So super excited about that. Um, the bag was listed for $30. As we know, Poshmark typically doesn't have discounted shipping unless the seller offers it. The seller did not. So at 30 plus roughly $8 for shipping and tax, I would have been just a hair over 40. Um, so again, I didn't want to bust that ceiling. So I offered um, 25 and it was accepted. And my grand total was about $35 um, between shipping and tax. So I came in under budget by about $5. And I thought that was great. Now I could have offered less. However, there's a few things. One, the condition of this bag looked really great. Um, the quality of this bag looked really great. And I've seen these bags go for a lot more than what the seller was asking. And when you look at the listings on Poshmark, you can see if they've recently knocked it down. And she had, the seller had knocked it down. I believe it was 20%. So I didn't want to lowball her too much more because as a seller on Posh, it is sometimes frustrating when I knock something down more than I really want to in order to get it sold. And then someone comes in and offers me even less. So I always keep that in mind and try to be courteous when making offers. So I offered the 25. I honestly didn't expect it to be accepted and it was. So I was very, very excited. Here is the bag that I got for all in total of $35. Isn't this bag beautiful, guys? I mean, look at that contrast stitching, silver hardware, this beautiful aged 
tanned, glove tanned leather. At least I assume it's glove tanned. I don't know. Um, it also, and I didn't notice in the pictures, but it came with the hang tag. Um, it has the faux buckle on the bottom. It does have four feet. It has these extra long top handles that are in really good shape. And I'm going to comment about these because as you'll see, it has the reinforced leather grips at the top, which are really cool. There is no cracking on these, and these are very soft handles. And this glazing is not cracked. Now, I will comment. My two Prada bags that you see behind me, both of those, that glazing is cracked, and the handles are very similar, and they're a little bit softer than, like, the Louis Vuitton handles. Um, so that makes me very, very pleased with this because this bag is definitely a bag that got carried a lot. You can tell by the way it's worn that this bag was used. And you can also tell the way the handles were misshapen when it first came in that this bag was carried. So the fact that the glazing is perfectly intact and on my thousand dollar Pradas, I didn't pay a thousand for that one, but retail full price, um, that mine are cracked. That tells you something about the quality of the older coach bags. And I do believe this one's from like the late 90s, early 2000s at the latest. So if you open her up, she has the little magnetic snap. And then right here, there is quite a bit of wear on the snap recipient. I don't know what the word is, but the, the uh, side that it snaps into, it's pretty scratched up. But this part is not scratched up very bad. So I think that's kind of interesting. And the lining is flawless. I have it stuffed right now, um, but it does have the gusseted sides that you can actually unsnap. They're kind of hard to unsnap. Um, and then you can expand for the more that you need to carry. Again, these snaps are in really good condition. The leather rings around them are in great condition. Um, the same on this side. And then the lining, like I said, was very clean. So here's the lining. Uh, there's a couple pieces of dust and like lint in there that I haven't quite gotten out yet. Um, but there's, uh, I mean, there's no like real staining. Right there by my finger, there's a little dot. And then right over here, um, by this finger again, there's another little dot. Those are the only two spots that I've noticed in the main compartment. It does have the coach story patch so if anyone who knows coach really well can tell me how old this bag really is that would be great and then there's a d-ring here the leather piping is in great condition not cracked and then i love this feature it has this like old style coach zipper pull and inside of this pocket is just another storage compartment now this one i had to scrub on and i can't get it all the way off but right there you'll see there's a few little spots as well. Probably melted bubble gum, to be honest. That's kind of what it looks like. But the bag passes the smell test. It just smells like leather. Um, overall, I am very, very pleased um, with this bag. These two front compartments, I actually didn't even notice it had them. But again, flawless. There's nothing in them. So when I got the bag, we had just returned from Maine. So I didn't have time to do a lot of filming. But the only thing that I really had to do for the inside, we'll start there since I'm there. Um, in the inside flap, there's a little bit of room here. Uh, there was a couple of wrapper, like gum wrappers, that had fallen back in this area, and then some crumbs along the seam. So I vacuumed and used a damp microfiber and got all of that out, as good as I could, of course. Um, I also just wiped down the whole interior the little spots that I had, um, I scrubbed them as much as I could. And I would say I probably got them about 80% out, um, which I am okay with. You know, I have luxury designer bags that are more stained and have more flaws inside than this. Now this bag, as you can see, <laughs> this is kind of how it came. It was well packaged, so I'm not no shade to the, shell, the seller. Um, but this bag has no structure. It is just a, a floppy bag. <laughs> so... I did have to stuff it immediately, so I'm going to do that real quickly before we go to the outside. Um, these are just from a fashion file bag. Um, I forget what bag this is from, but I have an organizer in it now, so I don't use this when I stuff. So that actually is the perfect size for the base. Of course, I have my charcoal packs for moisture, and it also helps with um, 
any scents that could be in the bag. And then I just have two little air, you know, air burritos, whatever you call them. Now, it is a little hard when you're buckling it to get the, the buckle into the hole, but once you do, it's Gucci. Um, it's a little misshapen, like I said, probably from just improper storage and shipping. So I'm currently working on that. You can kind of see a crease right here. I'm just working on getting that evened out so that the feet are actually at the bottom and not towards the front, which is how it naturally wants to lay. Now on the outside, the hardware was pretty good. So I just went through with a damp microfiber and rubbed it really well. Now there are some scratches and scuffs on it. It's not perfect. As you can see, it says coach right here. Um, you know, you can kind of see some pitting, some scuffing, you know, some scratches. This at least is a, I would say, 20 year old bag minimum. Um, so that's probably to be expected, to be honest with you. Uh, but the leather was in pretty good shape. It was just very, very, very dry. And you could tell there was some surface dirt. So of course, my first step was to clean the exterior. And here's what I used. Um, I love the Coach cleaning products, except I just noticed my lid is broken. So that's exciting. Get to deal with that mess later. Oh, anyway, I'll have to rebottle this. Um, so here it is. It's just the Coach leather cleaner. I love it. This stuff is amazing. However, like I said, the bottle apparently breaks really easy. So I'm gonna set that over here out of the way. And it did get on my floor. Oh, so anyway, I gave the bag a thorough scrubbing and I'll just kind of show you the coloring. This was a brand new microfiber. Um, so this was the first scrub on the outside. The second scrub, this was primarily the handles and then the third scrub. Use that, give it a really good buffing. And then I have this, and this bottle is better because it doesn't break. Um, this is just a leather moisturizer. Um, I use moisturizer. <laughs> so I use this to condition and moisturize my leather. I don't use this on Vachetta, um, but I use it on almost all my other bags. I also use this on some canvas bags. Um, I love this stuff. I've had the same bottle forever. It doesn't take a lot, um, but I gave it two thorough scrubbings. Uh, once just a regular buff. And then the second time I left it a little bit damp with this and let it soak overnight. Um, and that definitely did the trick. Um, and then here is that cloth. Um, so again, it also brought off some more dirt, probably a little bit of dye, you know how that works. Um, but I got that cleaned as well. So overall, I am very, very pleased with this bag. I think it's super beautiful. I am going to potentially carry it for a couple of days. I might switch into it today. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it long term. I may gift it to my mother. This looks like something that she would love. Um, maybe I'll use this as a giveaway for my 500 subscribers. Um, not really quite sure of its fate yet, but I did clean it up really well. It's super moisturized. It's super supple. Um, absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it definitely needs an organizer um, or something to help keep its shape. Um, but overall, I think it's an absolutely great condition. And for $35, there is not a complaint in my mind. Be sure to go watch Ed, Winnie, and Autumn's videos. I am really excited to go watch them. Ed showed us a sneak peek of his, and I think it's going to be really cool. Um, he does a lot of restoration, um, which I'm going to learn how to do. Um, I actually have my eye. There's an antique store. They have an old Dooney and Bork, um, Burke, however you say. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Dooney and Burke. Um, bag. It's white. It's filthy. Um, I thought about testing out my, um, my try at dyeing bags. So not sure. But go watch their videos, comment on their videos, and then come back here and take the poll and let us know who you think got the best bag. Thanks everyone. We'll see you not this Saturday, but next Saturday we'll get back on schedule. And um, the next video I'm going to do, I think, is a tag uh, the Ed Brown tagged me in, um, and it was a uh, my five most viewed bags. So that's what I think I'm going to do next time for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below, do all of the things, watch my friends' videos, and come back here and vote. Thanks, everyone. Bye.